focus. Can you focus on me? Oh, there you did it. It focused. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, That Chocolate Bean with me, Erin Wells, and you read that title correctly, we are going to be making pizza with cauliflower crust. Let's get started. Cauliflower crust is nothing new, but I'm trying this whole keto vegan idea, because your girl, I like carbs. Carbs don't like me. It's not you, it's me. Don't name me. Eat you, you go to my stomach and my thighs, and I just okay. Love you. We're gonna start off putting our head of cauliflower in our food processor. All right, that is one half. Still got the other half to do. We're gonna take a double boiler and put in our cauliflower. Four and a half cups. It is funky in my kitchen, y'all. It is. Cauliflower does not smell the best. Anyway, I have let this um, boil for five minutes and let it cool completely. And now we're going to wring out the excess water. All right, you're gonna take your clean kitchen towel, which this is clean, y'all, but it smelled like, it smelled like laundry detergent. So I just don't, I just put a paper towel on top of. Okay, okay. Dump your room temperature cauliflower. And we're gonna squeeze out all this excess water. Get as much out as possible. Keep squeezing. Oh, oh my gosh. Woo! All right, let's unwrap. Ugh, this is so messy. This is what you want. Before we make our dough, go ahead and preheat your oven to 400. For our egg replacer today, I'm trying something new. This is Bob Red Milled egg replacer. You guys know I usually use flaxseed or chia seeds, but I want to try something new. So. Let's mix this bad boy up and make a egg. So let's sit one minute. Let's do one fourth cup of vegan Parmesan. One fourth of cup of almond flour. One cup of vegan mozzarella. All right, that has thickened up wonderfully. So let's add in our vegan egg. Garlic powder. Now I know I don't measure, but if I have to say, let's go with a teaspoon. Onion powder and some oregano. Let's get mixing. Ooh, this smells so good. All right, you're gonna take some parchment paper to lay down our crust. Now this will make one big pizza, but I'm gonna make two separate since I'm making two different flavors. Kind of shape as you go. All right, here we go with both our doughs. I'm gonna put them in the oven until they turn brown for about 15 minutes. It's on the oven, mate. It's been 15 minutes, wow. All right, that's what we're looking like. It's a little soft. I'm gonna go for five more minutes. It's a little soft in the middle. To keep this recipe low carb, um, I use a sugar-free barbecue sauce. Never tried this before, guys, so first time, so hopefully it's good. I got this from Publix, by the way. I'm not gonna go too crazy, this is not real crust. We do not need this to fall apart. For our chicken, we're gonna use oyster mushrooms flavored with, of course, kicking chicken seasoning and some raw white onions. We're gonna top with some mozzarella cheese. Cutting board series, cutting board series. For our other pizza, we're using traditional pasta sauce. And I have here some tomato, bell pepper, and onion. We're gonna pop both these babies back into the oven. Okay, so I took the pieces out. They were in the oven for about eight minutes, 
y'all know I'm real weird with time. And now they've been cooling for about six minutes. So I am so excited to cut it open and taste these. Um, I can already tell you guys, I did not succeed in the whole, I made a cauliflower crust pizza that is not gonna fall apart. This is gonna fall apart. Maybe I'll do a part two. If you tell me down below how I can have it not fall apart vegan style, um, let me know. But I, I, that, I, I ain't succeed in that part. But let's see how it tastes. Because I'm me, I don't have a pizza cutter, per usual. It is definitely not, look at that. I mean, I think it's just too thick. Okay, we can just cut to, cut to me trying it. It's good. Oh my God. That is so good. The flavor of the mushroom mixed with the barbecue sauce. That barbecue sauce is good. I didn't put it on too heavy as y'all know, but still, that's good. Okay, let's taste our traditional. Also really good. Also need a fork and a knife to eat this. <laughs> Low carb, guilt free, so good. I'm eating the rest of this. Yes I am. By myself. As always, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe down below, and I will see you next time. Peace. Oh, I'm coming from all the way from the back. Oh yeah.